Hello everybody and welcome back to the steam train. It is a wonderful Thursday. It's 11 a.m. And I'm excited to see you guys today. We actually have a really quick announcement, but before that I am Mr. Doran with New Minds. But our announcement today is our super awesome cardboard challenge we're putting on. It's going to be happening for 24 hours straight starting on Tuesday the 21st of April at 7 p.m. We're going to launch the challenge here and we're going to go ahead and pass it around the world to Vietnam to Lebanon and then back to the U.S. for the last eight hours. But don't worry all of it's going to be online at newminds.tv slash earthday2020. It's all going to be up there so make sure you start saving your cardboard now. So go ahead we're going to go ahead and get our actual lesson today started. I just thought it'd be something you guys would like to know. Let's see what's inside of our box so we can get started with today. First of all, we have an empty tissue box. This is going to be the main part of our project today. So what? don't go ahead and don't take out all the tissues. Just if you have one that's already empty, it's going to be perfect for today. If you don't have one that's empty yet, just wait until you have the day and then you'll know what to make. I also have my normal supplies like scissors, a ruler. things to write with, some glue, some crowns, and tape. I'm also going to use my scrap construction paper. Remember, when you use construction paper and there's still a little bit left, don't throw it away. You have so many more things you can make with that. But today is just a fun art project. I think you guys would enjoy it and it's something to do that we can reuse and recycle a material that we were going to recycle and throw away, a tissue box. Now what I noticed about this tissue box is that all of them have a hole in the middle, something you can actually reach in and get the tissue out of. I thought it kind of looks like a mouth, so I'm going to turn this box into a tissue box monster. The first thing we need is we're going to need to make some upgrades to this tissue box and we're going to need to very carefully get rid of this plastic piece. Now there's two ways you can do it. The first way is you just kind of push it out and it will come apart but it's going to dent your box. So I'm actually going to cut mine just very carefully. Make sure my fingers are not in the way. I just want to cut out the plastic so it's not in the way for later. Now you want to think about we're making a monster and the shape of the mouth is going to depend on your tissue box. Some have round holes, some have square holes, some have some interesting shapes. I've seen some with diamond holes. All of them would make a good mouth for your monster. Once you've made a cut, it's pretty easy to peel off all this plastic, and then you'll be good to start your project. Remember, don't waste tissues to do this project. The whole point is to use waste that you weren't going to use in the first place, to reuse stuff. If you take out tissues from it and you don't use them, it defeats the point of the project. So now I have my empty box. I took out all the plastic. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my trash can. Make sure to put it away as I'm working. Now I have my box. Since this is going to be the mouth, I know we're going to need a color because I don't want my monster to be blue striped. I want mine to be a fun color. So I'm going to go ahead and break out my scrap construction paper. Find one that's big enough for me to trace the whole box on. If you have a square box, you don't need a big piece. I have a rectangle box, so I'm going to need a pretty big piece. Your monster doesn't just have to be sideways. It could also be vertical, too. I'm going to do mine sideways because I want to have a big wide mouth instead of a big tall mouth. I have this pink paper that has a big scrap cut out of it, but there's a big section here and a big section here that I can definitely trace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my box, I'm going to put it flat on the square, and I'm just going to trace the shape of the box because I'm going to cover the whole front. Let me just trace the corners first. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now I have my corners traced just like this. Now I'm going to start to connect all of the lines so I can have the front to my tissue box monster. So I'm going to set it down. Go ahead and start tracing around. Yours doesn't have to be pink. Pink is just what I used out of my spare paper to save pieces. But 
Maybe yours is your own color. Maybe you like orange, green, blue, purple. It is your project. You get to decide the colors that you want it to be. If anything, make it a little bit too big, not too small. Too big we can work with, too small is going to look a little weird. So now we have our mouth, our face to the monster. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut it out, but I'm going to leave a little bit extra on top and on the bottom, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to cut out the side lines first. So I cut out one side. Now I'm going to cut out the other side. And now I'm going to cut across. Just like this. And now I have a big pink rectangle. My lines are in the middle. There's still some space on the top and bottom. I'll show you what we're going to do with this, but you're going to want to fold on these lines first. So make sure you fold it nice and straight. Make it look good. Because this is going to wrap around the top and bottom of your box, so you have a little bit of overlap. This is just going to save us some time and material later. Your animal or your monster doesn't just have to be one color. If you want to go back to our very first lesson and learn how to make a camouflage, That'd be super awesome. And if you don't know where to go back and see our old lessons, you can check on the New Minds Facebook page. We have playlists with all of our lessons. Or go to newminds.tv, and they're all sorted there. Now I have a paper that wraps around the front of the box. You notice it goes over the top and over the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put tape on one piece of it. I'm going to do it on the bottom part. And I'll show you why we're only doing one at first. Because when we put this piece on, we actually covered up the mouth where it used to be. So we're going to need to make a new hole in our construction paper. And it's going to be easier if it isn't taped all the way down. So I'm going to look at this construction paper. I'm going to fold it down for a second. And this is where I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to measure how far from the bottom it goes up. And it looks like it goes up an inch and a half. So I'm going to mark on the front of my page. It's going to be a little hard for you guys to see. But right here, I'm going to mark an inch and a half. I'm going to do a little line. I'll do it nice and big so you guys can see it. Just like that, there's a little black line. And now I'm going to look how far it goes from the side. Just one inch. So I'm going to go one inch over and do a little line. So now I have two little lines. Now I'm going to do the same inch and a half from the bottom and the same inch from the other side. That way it's symmetrical. And from the bottom, I mean from the line that you drew, that you folded. So inch and a half, and I need to do an inch. Now you should have four lines that will make the edges of the mouth. So this is the part where you get to be creative. I'm going to put two more marks over here, but you get to draw the shape of the mouth you want. It doesn't have to perfectly match this hole. But make sure you don't cut too far in. So you can always want to draw it closer in. You can start to change the shape, make it look wobbly, not square. Make some interesting shapes. So I'm going to do the same marks on the other side, just so I have a little reference to see. You don't have to do this perfectly. You can always just draw it. That's OK. Boom, inch and a half. Boom, inch and a half. So now I have all of my lines. So I'm going to connect them, make them wobbly, make it look more like a mouth. Don't add things like teeth yet. I'll show you how to add those. But for now, just draw a big old wide open monster mouth. And now I have this shape. It almost looks like a lake. Now if you haven't seen our earlier lessons, I'm going to show you a trick on how to cut out something that's in the middle of the page but we're gonna cut out this hole right here. So my super awesome trick to do this is I like to fold the page on somewhere that's kind of straight. So I'm gonna fold it right here on this edge, fold it, and then put one little cut in it. 
Now when I unfold it, you see that the cut came all the way through. Now I'm just going to cut out around the outline until I have my shape cut all the way out. While you're doing this, think about what kind of monster do you want to make. Is he scary? Is he friendly? Is he nice? Does he smell good? Does he smell bad? Think about what kind of traits he has and what will make them look like it. If he's friendly, he might be more smooth, less pointy. If he's scary, he might be more spiky or have some more bright colors. It's up to you and you can make your own invention, your own idea. I think mine's gonna be kind of friendly. I'm gonna name him Gert. And he's gonna be pink. It is a he, even though he's pink. And we'll see how he turns out by the time this is all done. Take your time. Make sure your fingers aren't on the other side of the page you're cutting out. You don't want to accidentally hurt yourself. Always be very careful when using scissors. And there we go. So now I have my mouth cut out. I'm just going to fold it back over. And you shouldn't see any edges when you do that. So when I turn mine back over, I can see that there is the mouth completely unoverlapping. There's nothing else in the way. I can just see the hole now. So we have a start to our tissue box monster. Next, I'm gonna put some tape on the top so it stays on. You can glue it as well. Tape's just a little faster for me, so I'm gonna use tape. But make sure, as always, you have permission to use supplies that you're using. And now we get to add some teeth to our mouth. Now I'm gonna make mine pointy triangle teeth, but you can make it flat square teeth. You can maybe give them one big tooth in the middle. Whatever tooth you wanna make, I'm gonna use some scrap white paper. Like this, this will be good. I'm gonna look about how big I want it to be. And I'm just gonna cut out the shape. Whatever shape you make, add some extra on top so you can hide it behind the mouth. Do I want to make my pointy teeth? Yeah, I think I want one big buck tooth like this. So I'm going to take my square, and I'm going to end up putting it in right here. So I'm going to glue it on the top piece, and then stick it on the cardboard of the box. And it'll stay a little bit better that way. Maybe you add a big bunch of sharp teeth. Maybe you just want to add one simple tooth like I am. I might add a second tooth on the bottom. I think that'd be fine. So I'm going to go ahead, remember when you glue it, hold it and count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to make sure it sticks. And now I have my first tooth. And I think he's looking pretty good so far. I think I do want to add one more tooth in this corner, just like a little snaggly sharp tooth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to cut a little rectangle first, and then I'm just going to sharpen the end. And the sharp part's the only part that's going to show. This bottom square part is where I'm going to glue it. Just like before, I'm going to put the glue on the tooth because it's going to be hard to glue on the back. I'm going to hold it on and count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think this is a good looking mouth for my tissue box monster. The next thing I need to add is his eyeballs. He needs to see what we're doing. So I'm gonna cut out two circles out of our white paper. If you did our spinning tops, you know how to trace different things and use our circles. I think I'm actually gonna take one of those out because I think that would be a good size. If you didn't see this lesson, it's on New Minds TV, but we did these spinning tops out of cardboard. I think this will be a good size for my eye, so I'm gonna trace this. But maybe you have the inside of a tape roll, a water bottle. You could trace anything circle to get a good eye shape. Or maybe you don't want circle eyes at all. Maybe you want squares or rectangles. I think I want mine to have three eyes. I think that'd look pretty cool. So I'm gonna make three circles. The cool thing about making a monster is it's not like making a person where everyone has two eyes, two ears, one nose, one mouth. You get to get creative with how many they have. Maybe it's a cyclops with one eye. Maybe it is a monster with two noses. Maybe it's got two separate mouths and there's a thing in the middle. Maybe they got 
a whole bunch of eyes, or maybe they don't have any eyes at all and they have an antenna. Whatever you want to make, make it unique. It looks like I actually ran out of room on this piece of paper, so I'm just going to make two eyes just so I can save the scrap for later. So my circle doesn't quite fit a third time. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut these out. And these are going to be my eyes and they're going to stick up off of the box. So I've got one and they're going to kind of sit like this. I'm going to put them off center. I'm going to put them off to one side because it's a monster. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. It can be unique, have an interesting shape. But I think it's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to finish cutting out this other circle. And there we are. I'm trying to decide if I want my eyes on this side or if I want them on this other side. I think I want them to go on this far side. I'm going to finish these eyes before I glue them on. And I'll show you how I'm going to finish mine. I need to decide what color I want them to be. So I'm going to do a second smaller circle that's about half as big. It's going to fit in the middle of my eye color. And I think I want to give him two different color eyes. I'm going to give him a red eye and a green eye. And I think, let me find something that's a good circle to trace. I think my glue stick would be a good circle to trace. Yeah, that'd be nice and big. But yeah, I think that's going to be the best circle I have. So I'm going to find a scrap paper. I drew on this one for a different lesson, but I have all this extra space here and some extra space over here. I'm going to use the smaller part first, just to be sure I can reuse supplies. And keep cleaning up as you're working. Make sure your area stays nice and clean and you can see what you're doing and you don't lose any pieces. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to trace my glue stick twice. Actually, I'm going to trace it once because I'm having two different colored eyes. I almost forgot. So there's my green pupil. And let's do a red one too. Actually, do I have any purple? I think I'm gonna do purple. Ooh, you know what? I wanna do blue. See all of these scrap papers? They're gonna come in handy. I'm gonna use this part because I could fit it on there. Trace it nice and circle. It's just like when you're using a cookie cutter and you're making sugar cookies. You don't throw out the extra dough. You ball it back up and you use it again. So I'm going to cut out my blue pupil now. I'm going to cut it a little bit on the outside of the circle. Just so I get a little bigger one. There we go. Make sure you're careful of your fingers when using scissors. They are sharp. Even if they're safety scissors, you still want to practice good habits and being careful. So I have my two different colors of eyes. I'm gonna glue these on wherever I want them to be. I don't think I want them to be centered, so I'm gonna glue them kind of in weird spots like this. I'm gonna glue those on, and there's one last step we need before we finish the eyes. Make sure to hold it down the whole time you're gluing it. I actually forgot mine started peeling up. I need to make sure to remember my own rules. I'm going to put these two back. And now we need the middle part of the eye, the black part. So we're just going to get two little black dots. I'm just going to draw mine with a little circle, and I'm just going to cut them out. I have some black paper I used from a different lesson. I'm just going to draw really quick and cut them out. Just make sure they're smaller than your colored part. Because if they're too big, the color won't show up. You can always hold it on top, try it out, see how it looks before you do that. But I think our monster is looking pretty good so far. These are kind of small, so I need to make sure I'm careful with my scissors. I have a one out. Almost there. There we go. So 
They're going to be kind of hard to see, but I have these two little circles. I'm going to go ahead and glue them in the middle of my colored eye parts. That's one. And that's two. Make sure to hold them down. There we go. So now I have my two eyes. Now I'm going to set them how I want to glue them. I want to glue them just like this. I'm going to glue a little bit of the bottom. Remember, it is a monster. It can be a little bit silly. That's fine. But you want the eyes to not overlap the mouth all the way. So I'm going to add one more. And there we go. I think he's looking pretty good. I don't think I want to add a nose. Maybe I want to add a mustache, but I know I want to add some eyebrows on him. I think that would make him look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some eyebrows of my black paper, and I'm actually going to glue them on top of the eyes. So I'm just going to cut out, out of this black paper, two little rectangles. I'm going to make them kind of long. I didn't measure them or anything. I just know I'm making them nice and long. I'm going to glue them on top of the eyeballs to make some awesome eyebrows. Cool thing about this project is you can keep adding stuff as you figure it out. You're like, maybe I want to add a nose, maybe I want to add an antenna. I think I'm going to add an antenna to mine, but I think this looks pretty good so far. And this is our friend now, Gert. I think he looks pretty cool. I might leave him on the table for our next lesson, but this is where I'm going to leave you guys off for today. Keep adding more onto it add more designs, make it more unique. I want to see what makes yours, yours. But thank you guys for tuning in with another Real Inspired Learning with New Minds. I hope you guys all enjoyed and keep practicing your passions until they become your talents. Maybe it's art or reusing supplies. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.